Martin, how's things? What? Are you on the road? Uh, no, I just stopped off for a quick lunch. Why? Are you headed out to Bristol yet? Yeah, yes. The meeting's been cancelled. Just drive straight up to Birmingham. You should have enough time to make an 8.30 meeting I've rebooked for you with the Fowler family. Uh, Do you have a pen? Yeah. Go ahead. The address is 35 Witch Hazel Gardens. BR 34ORJ. You got that? Got it. You should get this sale. Am I allowed to offer the discount? No. And Francis, mention the new range is coming out. Right. Show them the leaflet. Oh, and show them the new materials. I've had feedback that you don't show them the new swatches. Get on the road. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Well, uh, thanks again for the meeting. Uh, sorry I was so late. Uh, listen, do you think there's any chance you might make a decision by tomorrow? Oh, I'm just not sure. I mean, it's a lot of money to put out at the moment. I'd have to dip into my savings. No, I understand. I only said yes to the meeting because the man I spoke to on the phone was very pushy. Look, <clears throat> here's my card in case you need to get hold of me, you change your mind. My, uh, my home number's just there. Uh, where? So, just there. Oh, yes, I see. OK. Well, goodbye, then. Boost its contribution to the International Monetary Fund's lending facilities. The country is in financial crisis, but he won't support direct IMF investments in a Eurozone bailout fund. I'm here to safeguard the British economy. We've taken difficult decisions at home that have protected the British economy. Three of the world's top critical Hello? Hi. There's no signal in the room. I, I didn't see your missed calls till now. How's everything? Lily, don't do that, darling. I'm just bathing them now. Call back in a minute. Yeah, I'll, I'll call no. back later. You look tired, long night. I'm tired. How can I help you? Um, well, I've not really got a good signal in my room. Uh, I can't check my emails, my phone's a bit sporadic. Is there any way of fixing this? Do you have another room I could have? Let me check. Well, we would have to charge you a cleaning fee for the room you've been occupying. Uh, how much is that? It's the full charge of the room. <laughs> well, well, I can't do that. Uh... Well, I could let you check your emails down here if you'd like. I have some stuff to print as well. Yes, that's fine. There's a computer room just over there that's linked to the printer. That solve the problems then. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's me. I told you to call in a few minutes, not an hour later. Well, I have my own stuff to do too, you know. How is she? She's calmed down now. How are you? I'm fine. Just tired. Happy anniversary. When do you find out when you're coming home? Uh, he's got me in... Glasgow by the end of the week and then I have a few days off. So when do you think you'll get home?
Francis. Well, what do you want me to do? I know you can't start demanding hours now, but as soon as you've signed that contract, I'd like you to have a chat with him. I know. You've got responsibilities now. I know I do, all right? Why do you think I took this stupid job in the first place? Will you just have a word with him? Yes. Gonna be up in Norwich tomorrow. Oh, yeah? You gonna see Mum and Dad? Yeah, I might drop in. Be good for them. Francis, I don't want to keep pestering you about your job. Just have a chat with them about having some time off. Maybe you could work closer to home, come home at night. Look, I better go. Well, I'll call you tomorrow. All right. So, in the long run, you'll know you have complete peace of mind. Uh, we offer two standard packages along with a separate fee. That will be fine, Mr. Maxey. Uh, it's McGee. Yes, well, we'll have to think about it. The 30% discount will only be available until Monday. In that case, we have a couple of days, don't we? Violet, Anne, thank you both so much for having me. Uh, my card is in your pamphlets. So call my mobile direct as soon as you make a decision. I think I might take it. Violet? Well, it all, it's all very reasonable. Mr Mackay, I'll sign your papers. Really? That's great. This is, this is a bit of a rash decision. Shouldn't you get your daughter at least to look at it first? Well, yes, yes perhaps I ought. Mr. Mackay, I'll take your policy, and if my daughter thinks it's a good idea, then I'll post it to you. When my Arthur died, I didn't have to deal with all this sort of thing. The council took care of it all for me. Well, we'll leave it for now. Just remember there's three days for the discount. Thanks again for the meeting. Nice to drop by. Why is the side gate open? Well, Dad's just popped down the store. Mm. Well, it is nice to see you. Cup of tea. Mm.
Francis, why are you looking so miserable? I don't know. How's the job going? Boring. I spend all my time trying to persuade people to spend money. Well, at least you get to travel. I've never even been as far as Scotland, you know. Really? I thought you and Dad travelled before you had us. Well, we travelled through Spain, but that was just our honeymoon. And then we never really travelled much after that. Do you remember a girl who used to live down the road from us? Jennifer Freeman? Well, yes, I do. You were besotted with her. No, I wasn't. Her mother Margaret and I used to play cards together. Your brother and her brother were best friends. What happened to them? Well, they had to move. Their father lost his job just like yours. And they weren't as well off. Why? I don't know. Her name's on my weekly list. I, I might be meeting her tomorrow. Mm, you don't say. It might be her anyway. Well, if it is, say hello from me. Well, I should get going. Francis, you only just got here. Dad will be sorry, he missed you. I've got business clients to meet this evening. Well, where do you have to get to? Uh, just north of here. Take some sandwiches then. No, 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 I'll get something on the road. Thanks, though. And I'll call next time I'm coming up. Say hi to Dad. Right, big boy. Uh, How you doing, mate? Right, first off, why are you lying to Mum about having a business meeting? I could have met you there. Why do you care? Well, because I told Mum I was meeting here. All right, I had a meeting, it got cancelled, then I called you. Oh, OK. You hungry? Um, hmm. Anyway, how's things? I don't know. Kids are good. Janet's good. She nags me all the time, but that's what you buy into, isn't it? Marriage. And how's all this working out? It's all right. Gets me out of the house. Gets you out of the house. Francis, look at you. The tie, the suit, the little briefcase. You know you look like me, Dad. Well, I've got bills to pay. <laughs> yeah, everyone's got bills to pay. Yeah, well, this is how I choose to do it. Oh, forget that. Look, I swear, as soon as I turn 40, I'm going to get a shotgun. Oh, thank you, and good night. <laughs> yeah, well, you're an idiot. No, I'm serious. Look, I've thought about this. I get some credit cards, I go around the world, you know, max them out on cool things like women and cars and come back here, you know, click, click, and no one has to pick up the check. Oh, that's your grand scheme, is it? You're worried about me lying to mum, but that your plan is to bonk your way around the globe until you're bankrupt and then come back home and shotgun your own face. Oh, nice. Look, it's better than struggling, OK? Stuck in some office somewhere behind a desk, you know, or, or in your case, Stuck behind someone else's bumper on the M40. That's living, is it? Do you ever think that there might be more to life than being chronically stupid all the time? Look, I've thought about it. It's a great idea. Oh, yeah, exactly. Except, no, it's not. It's blatantly a horrible way to go. In the first place, think what it'd do to Mum, yeah? It'd cripple her. You know, you probably wouldn't bother to kill yourself. you just fake your own death or something. Fake my own death? Well, that's a great idea. Fake my own death. Yeah, there we go. See, this is why I should share my plans with my family, so they can improve them for me. I'm not improving your plan. I am trying to... Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And it's fine. I come up with the ideas, sow the seeds, and you guys come along and sprinkle on the water and, uh, you know, before I know it, the path to a happier, fuller life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, I'm happy with my life. Really? Of course I am. I've got a beautiful wife, I've got lovely kids. Francis, the first thing you said was how Janet nagged. It's not the first thing I said. Anyway, I didn't... What did you mean? The nagging, the in-laws, the constant worry about money? This all makes you happy, I assume. If anything, you're the one who isn't happy. Me? I'm the one that's not happy. Right, you've made me do it. Give me, give me, your, what? Give me one of your business cards. What? Give me one of those. Yeah, a, bis a business card. You must have a business Why? card. Well, don't take them all. I need those. Calm down, dickhead. Watch this. W waitress. Hi there. What would you like? I would like to take you out for dinner tomorrow night, uh, somewhere classy. N not here, somewhere up in town. Uh, anyway, here's my uh, business card. Can I get you anything to eat? Um, just, uh, just a coffee, please. Thanks. Ha! That doesn't prove anything, does it? 
she probably gets asked out a dozen times. Look, look Faze, Faze, if it doesn't, you don't think she's going to call. Look, it's not about whether she calls or not. It's about the thrill of the chase, something you wouldn't understand. Besides, this is about me not being happy, remember? Look, c could you do that in your condition, Francis? Could you do anything in your condition? Six thirty, please. Will there be anything else? Well, uh, a date. Uh, would Would you like to take my card? Um, I could leave it. I'm not really allowed to do that, sir. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I I just thought I could uh, uh, leave my card for you in case you decide to. Hello. Yes. Well, I could leave it. I'm Mr. McGee? It's Beverly from reception. Yes? I'm just giving you your wake-up call. Oh. The phone service went down last night. Oh, well, thank you. Wait, hang on, hang on a second. I wanted to apologise about last night. I, I don't want you thinking I'm just some kind of creep. It's just my brother put all the ideas in my head. I, I shouldn't have acted that way towards you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not actually really married. Um, I don't know why I said it. I just... Oh, well, there's no need to explain. Well, anyway, thanks for apologising. How can I help you, sir? Uh, just checking out. There you are, all taken care of. Thank you. Um, do you know where Beverly is? She was serving me earlier. Her uh, shift is finished now, sir. Um, well, could you give her this? I went to the pile. It's not like that, actually. I meant nothing by it. I hope you enjoyed your stay with us, sir. Aren't you going to ask where the kids are? You're ready, mother. How many kids do you have? Three. Three. Isn't that right, Nick? Far as I know. <laughs> I've got seven. Seven? Seven. Seven? Seven kids. That's what he said, seven. Handsome, how many you have? Three. I've got a bunch of them. Francis? Francis? Hi, Martin. Damn it, Francis. What happened to the 330 in Liverpool today with Mrs. Freeman? 
here twice and I tried your mobile several yeah, times. I, I, I couldn't find the house. I, I think I must have the wrong address. Why? Well, why didn't you call me? I would have sorted something out. Well, I'm, I'm pretty far outside the city now. I was going to head up to Glasgow Turn for around. tomorrow. Turn around. You've got all the time in the world to get up to Glasgow. That meeting is until tomorrow night. I'll, I'll give you the address again. Yeah, uh, OK, go ahead. 336 Westfield Road, Liverpool, L69PD. You got that? Yeah, uh, no, that's, that's not what I've got here at all. Um, uh, my, my document must have corrupted. Just get or... over there as quick as you can. I can't have this. Where's your brain at? Wait. Uh... Come about the policy. Sorry, I had the music on. Come in. I'm, I'm sorry about the miscommunication between myself and the office about our meeting. I, I thought it was tomorrow. No big deal. I'm here most days of the week. You look really familiar. Well, I saw your name on the form and thought it might be you. Um, I live down the road from you in Norwich. We grew up together. So, sorry, it's Francis. Francis McGee. Of course it is. How are you? Good. It was nice to see you. I'm sorry, but it has to be for this sort of stuff. Oh, no, don't apologise. Wow. <laughs> Once you said your name, a whole flood of memories came back to me. It's life, though, isn't it? You come across so many people and then you just completely forget about them. Yeah, that's true. I saw your name on my weekly sheet and thought, <laughs> no way it could be you. Well, how's your family, then? Yeah, good. Didn't we used to have a little song about you? <laughs> no, no need to do the song. Francis McGee likes to drink his own weed. <laughs> and your brother used to tell us that he was adopted, so his last name wasn't McGee at all, but was Craig. And we believed him. Yeah, well, he's good at that sort of stuff. <laughs> the funniest thing is when he used to sing along with us. Really? <laughs> I must have blocked that from my memory. Well, I'm sure I would have too. Anyway, uh, how are things with you now? I mean, how did you end up here? Well, um, that's sort of the reason why I called. Um, once the family moved here from Norwich, um, I met Stephen, and I've got two gorgeous little girls. But sadly, two years ago, Stephen passed away. Oh, God, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, it was uh, definitely a difficult period, and common-law marriage doesn't help with sorting out the pension stuff. But um, I just cleared that up now, and I thought, well, if anything were to happen to me, I want to make sure the kids don't pick up any of the expenses. Well, I've, I've got to say, 99% of the people I speak to are about three times our age, so it's nice, it's nice to... Well, you know, meet someone who's young and thinking of the future. Well, you're not exactly meeting me for the first time. You, you know I had the, the biggest crush on you in school. I think all the guys did. Really? Come on, of course. Look at you. I mean, back then. I... No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I mean, you're a beautiful woman now, and you were back then. Uh, well, you. Um, any kids? Uh, yes, uh, two. Max and Lizzie. We're, we're divorcing. Sorry to hear that. No, it's OK. I'm never at home, anyway. Or wasn't at home. I'm... I'm thinking of quitting this job soon, actually. I think I've had enough of travelling. I mean, I'd travel if I could do something I loved, but... Oh, well, um, what about the guitar? You used to love that thing. I'm still learning. I picked it back up a while ago, but, but uh, it's just, just a hobby. I've got it in the car, actually. Well, I think you should definitely do it. Oh, <laughs> Francis, how funny seeing each other again. Well, um, look, should we get on with it? Because I need to pick the kids up in Yes, OK. So, um, uh, 
so there's there's two standard packages we offer here. Let me get my things. Uh, we have two standard options. It's nice to see you again. It's, it's nice to see you too. I, I'm, I'm sorry about your husband. I think I came here for the wrong reasons. I, I knew it was you. I even looked you up on Facebook. I, th I think I should go. Well, why are you going? You don't have to leave. I'm sorry. And we're not the happiest couple, but... I don't know. I just seem to have gotten my priorities all messed up recently. Wait! You didn't do anything wrong. I'll, I'll probably lose my job for not making this sale. I don't know, maybe that's a good thing. Maybe all this happening has been a wake-up call. I know this doesn't make sense. I'm, I'm sorry, I've just, just gotten my priorities all mixed up recently. My mum says hi, by the way. Says hi, by the way. Oh, says hi, man. Oh, I'm stupid. You're an idiot. Nothing's wrong with it. I'm coming back home. I'm just leaving Liverpool now. What happened to Glasgow? I thought you were going to Glasgow. I'm not going. Why? We'll talk about it when I get back. Yeah, well, we've got a few things to talk about then. What? Francis, I've had different women calling the house looking for you. What, clients? No, not clients. I've had women calling the house looking for you. Hang on a second, I can explain. Francis. No, honestly, I can explain. It's James, all right? I met up with him, he took some of my business cards and wrote his number down <laughs> on the back of them. You know what he's like? They must have just gotten confused, right? It's just a misunderstanding. <laughs> and Beverly from Travelodge, would you like to hear the message? Well, now you've got nothing to say. Wait, I can explain. Look, I, I've just come from this woman's house, right? And yes, I was tempted to cheat on you, but then I found out that her husband had just died, so... Oh Hello?
I'm thinking 